Hey, my souls, I'm Anja Esma, and today I want to talk to you about Beltane. I want to give you some minimal ideas on how you can celebrate this beautiful holiday and also give you journaling prompts most of all, so that you can really tune into the energy of Beltane and have some deep, awesome insights about yourself with the tarot spread slash journaling prompts that I will give to you later in this video. So first of all, most of you will know Beltane, depending on where you are, is on the April 30th or May 1st or flipped into October if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, which also means, of course, it is um, the counterpart on the wheel of the year to Samhain. And Beltane itself is also all about thresholds and about not retreating like Samhain, retreating back into yourself, but rather burgeoning forth and growing, using the self-exploration that you did in winter and in this cold beginning of spring to grow throughout the summer. Since Beltane is an important fire festival, I'm definitely going to make sure that I light a lot of candles while I am doing my Beltane ritual, my Beltane session essentially. And also I want to put white and yellow flowers at the thresholds of my apartment. So at my windows, at my door, I will make sure that I have some nice white flowers. If you have some really good idea on where to get flowers, let me know. I mean, I don't mind buying them. I don't want to steal them from other people because if I just go out and take flowers, those are probably other people's flowers. And I grow some myself, but of course, you can't have everything. So if you guys have some amazing idea, let me know. I'm also definitely going to put out some food or put some dedication to fairies and to other mythical spirits of nature, because I don't know what it's like for you, but at least for me, kind of honoring something that embodies nature really helps me tune into a season and helps me connect with that energy. It just makes my practice feel meaningful when I have a connection to spirit, to nature spirits in general, and fairies and other mythical creatures. So I'm definitely going to do something in that direction. And since it is Taurus season, I'm kind of operating under the motto of little effort and big reward. So this is going to be a quick and an effective spread, just like my Beltane ritual or activities will be. And we are basically going to explore momentum and explore how to get into a flow in just a second. Real quick, before I start with the journaling prompts, my personal preference is to journal while I listen to someone talk about journaling prompts. So if you want to record your first unfiltered reaction to me saying the words, saying the questions, feel free to do that. You can also keep journaling after the video or you can start drawing tarot cards during or after the video, whatever works best for you. All right, so I call these journaling prompts slash tarot spread, feel the buzz. We're going with a B theme because as I said, it's about momentum, it's about getting into a flow and I feel like bees in their hard work kind of embody that. So let's get started. The first question is, where are you on a roll? What area of your life is running very smoothly, smooth as all hell, you are in control, you feel like you're in the flow, and everything is coming easily to you? The areas of your life that this could pertain to could, for example, be your exercise routine, your work, your family, taking care of the household, decluttering your apartment, your spirituality, or studying certain things. All of this could be going very well for you. Now, the second question is kind of a mirror image of the first, and it is, what part of your life is moving slowly right now? Where do you feel like you are trudging through mud? Where do you feel stagnant? Where does the energy not quite flow right? It's not happening as you are wishing it would and you're not in complete control of it. So write down that area and now it's going to get really exciting because we're going to the third question, which is how can you move the momentum from the first area where you're in the flow, you're connected to the second area where you feel more stuck and more stagnant? 
So for example, let's say the first area that is going really well is your exercise routine and the second area that isn't going so great is your work, your office job, your studies for college, university, school. And how can you bring aspects of your exercise routine or mindsets of your exercise routine into your work life? For example, this could very literally mean that you need to move more, you need to take better care of your body while studying, while working, or maybe it's about a certain mindset that you use to keep your routine going and you need to transfer that discipline over to your work. Or another example would be, let's say the area that is going really great and is really flowing is your work, your office job, your studies. And then the area that isn't quite flowing is your apartment. Maybe you want to declutter, you want to make your space prettier, but you're not quite getting there. So how can you get something that is helping you at work, for example, to-do lists, discipline, or creativity into your decluttering process. Maybe you need to set more concrete goals. Maybe you need to make more concrete to-do lists that are actually attainable in your decluttering. And I'm really excited about this third question because I feel like even making these examples up was super fun. So if you want to share what areas of your life you are trying to connect with this, I'd love to hear it because it's so fun to read. And, you know, I have a lot of fun connecting systems to another and connecting mindsets to another. So I feel like this is a very lush, interesting message that could come through. And then the last and fourth question is, what core strength will you need in order to keep that momentum going and to keep that positive, attitude that you have towards both areas of your life. This is a hands down useful question. This is the message that you can keep carrying with you as you are struggling maybe to establish new routines or to really tune into the answers that you got. And I'm sorry someone is hammering anyways. All right, so that's it basically. I really wanted this to be effective and short and kind of bam and to the point, not like nine cards or nine questions, you know. I like having it little effort, big reward, Taurus season, I'm telling you. <laughs> Feel free to share your spread or your insights, which questions you like, which were helpful to you in the comments below. I will also post more about this spread on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there and engage with me there. And lastly, I also have a Patreon where I will release more spreads, more journaling prompts for May, and also some other rewards depending on which tier you choose. So it would mean a lot to me if you checked that out. I also have a video about it. And yeah, I wish you a blessed, awesome, great, amazing, magical, great, 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 great Beltane and also the greatest of weeks, the greatest of days, and I will see you very, very soon.